Hello and welcome to Dancing with Parkinson's Nevada Video 5. Dean Bellon is back in the studio with us. Hey Dean, how are you doing? Great Pat, how are you? Very good, thank you. Dean has planned some wonderful music for us today. We're going to continue to work on our flow and ease in movement and we're adding rhythm. We explored a little bit of rhythm in Video 4 and we're continuing that in Video 5. Let's explore rhythm through tap dance and show footwork. This is going to be a lot of fun. You'll see that I have my water next to me. It's important to stay hydrated. Let's begin by going to the ball of our foot and then heel. We're working on the flow and ease and rhythm of our movement. Two quick steps. Then ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, quick, quick. We will do that four times when we're doing it with Dean on keyboard. Now I want you to just hold your thigh up. Hold it up in your arms. Brush the ball of your foot out and in. Out, in. This is called a shuffle. Out and in. Out and in. The reason, try the other leg, I'm having you do this by holding it up, is you can start to feel the swing in your lower leg rest. So in the dance combination, sitting tall, we do brush two and then we do three quick. If that is too much of a challenge to start with, if you're new to tap steps, just do slow shuffles. One, two, one, two, three and step. Very good. We will repeat that. The next part of our combination, we're going to warm up our hips. We turn our toes out and bring our heels in. Toes out, heels in. You will feel your hip flexors working here. We're warming those legs up, in, and. Hands will come up, open, in, open, in. This part is easy. Make sure your elbows stay down rest. Deep breath in and fingertips up, hands and feet together. Open, in, open, in. Coming back, in, together, in, together. Very good. Let's take another deep breath. Tap those toes on the floor. Pump those heels on the floor. Very good. You'll notice two things. My chair is seated on a diagonal. One, the reason that is is because I think you will be able to see the footwork better. So I want you to still look at me straight on when you do this. You'll notice that I have a wood surface here. It's easier to do tap steps on a smooth sur surface. It's harder to do it on carpeting. And I have shoes on. You don't have to have shoes on. These are actually dance shoes. So it makes it a little easier to do, but you can just do the, this combination barefoot as well. So Dean, I think we're ready for this little warm up. And let me think I'm gonna use my imagination. I'm seeing myself dancing. And now I'm using my imagination to hear the music that Dean is going to play. And Dean's going to give us four counts. And ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, quick, quick. Very good. And ball. One more time and 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and step. We go out, heels, toes go out. One more time with the heels. Bring it in. Fingertips up, we go out and in, warming up our arms, and in and out. Find time to smile with me, out and in, together we go out, two, in and out, terrific, and was great okay I want to share this when you feel a little more confident you can bring the tempo up and you can go out and in and out and in and you can bring it back and you can even do your ball heels quicker you can pick a faster piece of music practice slow first that will build your strength How many of you know about the soft shoe? It's a great dance, a fun dance. Let's begin. Hands on hips. Step to the side. Are you with me? Cross ball of the foot front. Step to the side. Ball of the foot front. Step to the side. Make sure you're stepping crossing front. Reach that toe back and then go front. Let's try that on the other side. Step on our foot. Yes. Ball of the foot. Uh-huh. Step. Ball. Step. To the ball of the foot. Back. Front. We will do that three times. Then we're going to do step. Step. We are going to swing our arms forward and push those arms back as we go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try that again. Step, step. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now we are going to do one of my favorite steps in this video. It has swinging movement, and swinging is so fun. Let's swing our arms. Doesn't that feel good? It opens our heart, helps us get a good deep breath, and rest. We will step on our foot, we'll swing our leg out, are you with me? Cross your leg, swing your leg back out, and step on it and kick the other foot out. Fancy, huh? Cross, out, step, step, slower, step. That's our dance combination. So now, we've talked about imagination in the videos, and I'm going to imagine myself doing this soft shoe with you, and I'm going to think of my music as well. So I'm going to think, yeah, bottom. Oh, I better go slower. Yes, because you're just learning this, and you have to try to say it out loud. Okay, Dean? We go step, touch, step, touch, step to the front, to the back and front. You know this one. Step, touch, step, touch, step to the front, to the back, to the front. Use your arms swinging through if you like. Yes. Again, one, two, three, four. Front and back and front. Step, two, three, four. One, two, and again. And step, find your sway.
very good. Warm up your spine as you sway. We go step, step, arms and one, two, three, four, five. Rest, ready, swing. Step, cross and out, in. So Dean, I love that and I know some of you out there can do it a little faster. So we're going to go into our break where you have an opportunity to have a sip of water and I'll give you some more tips on why dance is important for Parkinson's disease. But I want to take this tempo up a little bit. So, Okay, here we go. So I hope you're having a sip of water or two. It's important to stay hydrated. So another reason why dance is so very important for Parkinson's disease, and I think you can tell me on what this is right now, is the basis of dance is rhythm. So working on our rhythm will help us with our balancing, our coordination, even even our happiness. The rhythm can make us so happy. So keep on dancing, keep on practicing your rhythm, and have a sip of water. Let's go back to work. So we're going to explore a new step. This step is often used in dance for Parkinson's classes, and I want to make sure that you know this step as well. It's called paradiddles. It's an important step. We really articulate our whole foot in doing this and it'll make our feet stronger and help us with our balancing. Let's take the sides of our chair. You're gonna pick your knee up and you are going to dig your heel into the floor. Pick your knee up, dig your heel into the floor. Step on your foot. Make sure you're doing this with me. Pick your knee up, dig. Pick your knee up, dig. In dance class, many times we practice before we use the music. So make sure you practice with me. When you do the action of digging, you're digging. So you're pressing and it's a controlled movement. So you just don't want to swoop. You want to press into the floor with your heel. So dig. Now you're going to do another step and it's called spank. So if we were to spank something, it's a quick brushing action back. Dig and spank. Dig and spank. Dig and spank. One more with me down. With digging, we do controlled movement. So we don't want to jar our heel by slamming it into the floor. Dig and spank. Dig and spank. Dig and spank. I know I'm going to go slower. Dig, yes, spank, dig, yes, spank, and rest. Thinking before we move. Very good. Now we're going to do a step. You've practiced so many times. I know you have this down. We go into our dig, spank, ball, heel. Dig, spank ball, heel, our paradiddle here. This is a paradiddle. And when you start to get 
better at this step, you can do it faster and faster. It's so much fun and it's great exercise. So we're just going to do our paradiddles in this dance combination. So dig, dig, dig. And Dean's going to give us four. Take your chair, dig. Bravo! Many of you know this dance step. It's a fun, fun step. We're just going to do a fun, few simple steps from this dance. It's called the Charleston. So let's place our hands on our hip. We're going to step on our foot, and now we're going to touch forward. We're going to bring our feet back together and then touch back. Can you see how that's alternating feet? I step on one foot, change feet. Step together, change. I keep changing my feet from our center to the front and then to the back. Let's try that on the other foot. Step, front, step, back. Step to the front, think. That's when it gets difficult if you just try to look at me and do it. You need to think about it. One more time, step, say step, step, front, step, back. That's something dancers, when they're learning a dance, we have to think about what we're doing. Now, let's do it like the combination will be. We will do step to the front and step, think, back, step, to the front, step. We do that two times, then we do step, kick, a little swing kick, step, touch back, one more with the swing kick, step and rest. We will then be ready to step on the other foot. Step, if you want to use your arms, you can. Step, swing through, step to the back. Keep thinking, step, kick, step back, Step, kick, step together. Now, if you are doing this dance video or any of the other videos with a caregiver or a friend who doesn't have Parkinson's disease, this note is to your friend or caregiver. There is a delayed reaction sometimes when people are trying to think and then tell their body to do it. We must be patient and allow them to think and allow them time to do it. So avoid correcting somebody or pushing somebody to do it. In time, the more any of us, when we're learning dance, the more we practice thinking and then moving, it becomes easier. So it's something new, so we have to be patient with each other. The next part of the dance combination will be step, step, nice and big. Our legs are warmed up. You press out and in. C 
See that? We've all done that before having fun. Maybe at a fun party or something. We've all given it a try. Let's go slower press out. That's going to loosen up our hips and make our hips feel much better. You see I'm rocking forward, rocking back, rocking forward, and I'm having fun with that. And now my back feels much better. I'm sitting tall. We'll do a wave. We're circling away from our body. And then we'll practice our circles, going one after the other with flow and ease and rhythm and your style. Let's do a circle in towards our body, in towards our body. Let's try that. It's coming in. So now we have to think that we're changing, and then we move. That's our Charleston dance. So now I'm going to use my imagination, which I love to do. And I'm thinking of you when I use my imagination. And I'm seeing you dance with me. So when you come to Las Vegas, you can come take class with me. I can see you all there. And I hear my music. Yeah, da, 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 ba. Dean's going to give us four. Step to the front, to the back. Step to the front. Step, swing, kick. Step to the back. Step, swing, kick, and rest. Step to the front, to the back. Front. Step, swing, kick. Step, swing, kick. And together again, slow. Front. And step to the back. Yes, for those of you who are having a little more challenge, we're just taking it a little slower for you. Step, big kick. You still have to do your back. Kick. Let's sway here. And open our arms, hands to hips. And step. And you go front. And step to the back and step to the front. I heard you saying that with me and back and step, swing kick and step to the back, kick only as high as it feels comfortable and step, rest, big and push out, cross, out, out, Good. Now just do your legs. Feel how your, the bone in your hip socket is moving back and forth, relaxing your hips, and out, out, out. Bring your legs back together, and we'll do our circles. And circle, circle away, circle away. Moving around, up and forward and back, too. Beautiful work coming into our body. Almost like you're saying, come on over here. Come dance with me. Party time and circle. So Dean, let's pick up the tempo just a little bit for those who can go a little faster. Very good. Kick. And rest. You've done great work in video five tap and show steps. That's terrific. Dean, thank you for being here today. It's been wonderful. John, thank you so much. And to all of you, you're terrific. Keep on dancing. And I will see you in video six. And I've got a great big surprise for you. We'll see you soon.
we hope you enjoyed this video. We would like to hear from you. Your feedback is important to us. Simply send an email to dancingwithparkinsons.us at gmail.com and we will forward a short survey for you to complete. Since these videos are designed for repeated use, your feedback may change over time. So you are welcome to stay in touch and submit an additional survey if you would like. Upon completing the survey, you will receive an online booklet on how to mix and match these videos to create a one-hour class. We will also send the guidelines for the improvisation exercises for video six, creative fun for partners and friends. We appreciate your time and thoughtful consideration. And remember to keep on dancing.